Do you know William Smith Muir? He joined the church in Scotland at age 20 and married fellow convert Jane just before sailing to America. William was a sergeant in the Mormon battalion. In San Diego, he helped raise the flag, and he was there for the gold rush beginning. He walked barefoot most of the march. William served in the British mission for several years, returning to his homeland. He also traveled extensively throughout Utah, driving Brigham Young's teams and serving as his bodyguard. William was a silk weaver by trade, but enterprising in many fields. In Woods Cross, he operated the first molasses mill, started a coal business, was the first postmaster, planted the first asparagus patch in the Intermountain States, and created a tomato and pickle canning factory. He also introduced the Spanish onion to Utah. William was a supply agent, working the night the first train drove into Salt Lake City. He told the men he was celebrating his wife's 40th birthday, so they drove the train out to Woods Cross and saluted the family with a whistle, and he saluted in return with skyrockets and firecrackers, and then everyone partied. William felt like Israel of old with four wives. He had 18 sons and 18 daughters. A diphtheria epidemic claimed seven of his family members, which must have been terribly difficult, and he served five months in jail for polygamy. William spent his final two years as a patriarch of Davis Stake. He was far-seeing, a man of action and prompt, determined decisions. He gave the following advice to a son leaving home. Keep your head cool, your feet warm, your ears open, your mouth shut, and you will be okay. Twelve of his grandsons fought in World War II, and two of them died. William's headstone, interestingly, has four sides, one for each wife and her children listed. And now you know Scottish pioneer and Utah patriarch William Smith Muir.